You are listening to ChartingWealth.com for Wednesday, the 25th of November, 2015. I hope this is going to work. You cannot imagine how hard it has been trying to get a recording done today. I am actually recording about 1.12 a.m. Wednesday morning. I usually do my recording right after the market closes, but I am traveling. I am in a hotel uh, in the beautiful Intercontinental in Atlanta, Georgia. They have put me in the restaurant because I could find no other place that was quiet. And I still hear noise in the background. If you hear it, we're just going to have to bear with it, folks. I am sorry. What did the markets do? What are we looking at? Well, we always start with IYY. We start with the two-day chart. And what do we see happening? Well, we have attempted to draw a two-day trend line, and we see that two-day trend line is connecting two of our two-day candles. We are still tracking sideways. We're still in a confirmed up move. We haven't crossed over going down on our MACD, although our derivative oscillator is negative, but it's been losing negative energy. So it's still in the red, but it is losing energy, which means it's going up. We have, again, our MACDs in the positive, and we have three candles that are in up moves. That is on the two-day chart. If we go to the four-hour chart, what do we see? Well, we see there was a down move in the market this morning. That is, when I say this morning, Tuesday morning, and an up move in the afternoon. Overall, it would, the market was up 0.16. Now, don't forget, this is the abbreviated week of Thanksgiving. The big traders are gone at this point. They're off on Thanksgiving break. The floor is being handled by people who are training, smaller traders, folks that didn't get the holiday. And there's probably not going to be a lot going on unless there was some world-shattering event. And at that point, all those people would come in. The big guys would come back from Thanksgiving a day early or a day later if they had to (coughs) and figure out what the hell's going on but doesn't appear that that's going to happen. And again, tomorrow or today is Wednesday. So Thanksgiving's Thursday. We'll continue to monitor things. But again, IYY total market up 0.16%. So we are in positive territory. Up move confirmed on, of course, the big chart since the 18th. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the four-hour chart. Uh, The four-hour chart since the 18th of November. And the two-day chart, in a confirmed up move since, oh gosh, the 1st or the 5th of October. So again, confirmed up moves. Market has been slipping sideways for about the last week or so, but it's turned back around at this point. Now, let's next go and take a look at what S the S&P 500 is doing. We had the S&P 500 actually up 0.13% for the day. We do have a red candle, but it is a red open candle with our Hinkiyashi chart that we use. We're still slipping sideways somewhat. We are in an up move. Derivative oscillator is losing a little bit of its downward momentum. If we look at our four-hour chart, what do we see? We're above the two-day trend line. And like I said, we were up just a little bit for the day. Our derivative oscillator is losing speed, and it does look like our... MACD is tightening up closer, that is converging on the signal line. Now, if we then go from our S&P 500 to the last index that we look at before we get to gold, that is the Q's. What is the Q's? Well, it's the NASDAQ 100. What do we see here? We actually see an up move in the the two-day chart. Uh, We are getting closer with the MACD, a lot closer, and it looks like the derivative oscillator is actually heating up in a down move as we slip sideways. So, got a confirmed up move. We've not crossed over yet going down, but we darn sure look like we're getting close. The uh, Qs, that is the NASDAQ 100, was actually down today, 0.09%. And again, that's uh, one-tenth of one percent, just about down, so not much of a down move. If we look at the four-hour chart, what do we see? Well, we see that the four-hour chart is still positive, having crossed over back around uh, the 18th going up, but down moves in the morning, a little bit of an up move in the afternoon, still above the two-day trend line, although the down move today touched it. So again, 
not a lot holding that up right now. And again, a holiday week, not a lot going on necessarily. And lastly, we're going to range out, and I'm just still thinking the good Lord for no noise at this point, been able to hold off the people with the vacuum cleaners and a nice person here at the Intercontinental. Wonderful young lady put me in the restaurant, Southern Arts. If you haven't eaten here in Atlanta, great restaurant. Put me in here uh, out of the noise, and I so much appreciate that at 1.17 in the morning. Lastly, we're looking at gold. Where is gold? Gold, of course, rotated over going down on the two-day chart back on the 7th of November. And if we revert to the chart that we love on gold, or we have loved up until this point, we have the four-hour chart rotated over going up back on the 12th, but because of all the sideways slippage, continued to basically move down. We are still below the two-day trend line, although gold is, looks like it's trying to reach a bottom. We drew a floor in. We put a purple line in on gold, and gold has bounced off of that, so we'll continue to monitor. Derivative oscillators losing speed, but the MACD continues to move up. It's the problem, as we've talked about with the MACD, when you start getting sideways slippage. That is where your MACD is not your best friend as an indicator. We haven't had that happen in many, many months when you look back at our four-hour chart. So let's just continue to watch it and see how that plays out for us. Folks, that is where we are as we go into trading on Wednesday, the 25th of November. Hope that you're looking forward to a wonderful Thanksgiving. Of course, the market's going to be closed on Thursday, and we'll continue to be here for you. Every day the markets are open, we'll work very hard to give you a rundown of what's going on, help you be able to put together your virtual trade so you can learn and then make decisions on your own. If you don't have our 15-minute How to Read a Stock Chart video, you need to go to our website, chartingwealth.com, sign up for our daily newsletter, which includes this video cast. Also, you get our weekly review and forecast on usually Sunday nights for the week. Reviews the prior week's ending and the new week's beginning and what's happening, what happened and what's happening. Trends affecting the market. We look at the uh, week and the weekly charts on all of our indexes in gold, and we look at the daily chart. So that's a once a week kind of review in addition to our dailies. Plus, if you sign up for our email, not only will we send you the link to the 15 minute how to read a stock chart video that'll help anybody who really wants to understand what's going on in the market and not simply have to listen to the talking heads and be hyped up by them. And as they say in the market, if you buy on the rumor, you sell on the news. By the time you hear it, the play's over. That's why we follow the stock charts. They're so important because they're the roadmap from where the market has been to where it is going, where it is at the time that you're looking at it. Also, if you sign up for our newsletter, besides giving you the 15-minute How to Read a Stock Chart video, we also send you a link to the layout that we use at freestockcharts.com. The gold, uh, the... S&P 500, the Qs, and the total market. You get that layout with the charts that you need to be able to start tracking the market and figure out what's going on. Thanks again so much for joining us. We appreciate you joining us at chartingwealth.com. Wish you the best of holiday wishes.